हेलो गाइस लेट अस स्टार्ट फिलिंग द फॉर्म फॉर गेट 2026 तो फर्स्टली यू हैव टू विजिट गेट 2026.iitg.ac.in देन आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन एप्लीकेशन पोर्टल आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन एप्लीकेशन पोर्टल यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन रजिस्टर हियर ओके आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन रजिस्टर हियर यू हैव टू टाइप द फर्स्ट नेम सो first name then middle name and surname so if you have middle name then you can type middle name otherwise you have to type surname then click on confirm then click continue after clicking continue you have to type email address so the email address which you want that should be registered you have to type here and you have to confirm then country of residence india and then you have to type your mobile number then you have to confirm your mobile number and you have to then type a password so just choose a password then confirm it and then type captcha here and let us register now so after registration you would this message would appear thank you for registering for gate 2026 smn and email containing your enrollment id has been sent to the uh, mobile okay then let us click on continue now just type enrollment id or the email id which was registered okay so either of them you can type so you have to just type the enrollment id or the email id which you registered here so both of them would work then you have to type your password and after that let us type the captcha and we have to click on login after clicking on login this application status would appear here you have to check uh, check on this uh, box and you have to start filling the gate 2026 application form then he would ask you how many number of test papers you want to appear in gate 2026 so you can select one single or double then after that select uh, the test paper one for example i want to give this in data science and artificial intelligence as paper one then i would select here da and for paper two for example i want to give in mechanical so i would select this as mechanical then you have to select the exam city for example i want to give paper uh, exam city one in agra then city two i can select uh, as gwalior and three i can select as lucknow so that depends uh, which is easy for you and then i can click on save and next after clicking on next we have to verify email address so you when you would just click on verify email address and otp would be sent there and you have to just check the otp uh, from there and you have to type the otp here so yes i would be typing the otp okay so after that you have to uh, click on submit it is written email address is verified successfully then you have to verify mobile number and otp would appear on your registered mobile number you have to just enter that otp so just wait for i mean few minutes if it doesn't comes then you can click on resend otp okay after filling the otp just click on submit then successfully verified then you have to type the date of birth so after typing the date of birth you have to confirm then continue then gender you have to click then on nationality you have to confirm then category from general obc sc st then person with disability you have to confirm then country of permanent residence so you have to confirm in which country you are then you have to confirm your state okay in which state do you live or your aadhar card which state that is mentioned in your aadhar card 
तो दैट यू हैव टू कंफर्म वैलिड आईडी प्रूफ नाउ दीज आर सर्टेन आईडी प्रूफ विच यू कैन आई मीन एंटर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई जस्ट टेक आधार कार्ड आधार आई डी एंड देन यू हैव टू एंटर वैलिड फोटो आई डी नंबर so you have to enter the aadhar card if you are selecting aadhar card then enter the aadhar card number then name of the parent or guardian so you can just enter the name of the parent or guardian then after that parent and guardian relationship you have to select what is the relationship then the indian nationality after that mobile number you have to enter the mobile number after entering the mobile number you have to click on next then address for correspondence you have to write the pin code okay after that country india territory delhi then address line number 1 you can just type the and yeah you have to fill this and you have to click on next after clicking on next now you have to uh, enter your degrees okay so college uh, pin code so the pin code uh, of the college in which you studied then in which country then state then city after that yes you have to enter the roll number then qualifying degree what is your highest degree that you have passed okay then after this discipline of qualifying degree in which you have done your degree that you have to select okay so the, the, we have number of options so you can select here then year of qualifying degree in which year did you uh, qualified this degree that you have to select and degree awarding institution the university which awarded uh, your degree that you have to select then college name you have to select then after that you have to click on next then yes now an important step you have to verify all the you have to upload all the documents uh, now in the documents section uh, we have to upload the photograph colored photograph signature and upload we have to upload photo id okay so photograph you should remember it should be jpeg jpg or png file with minimum pixel resolution should be 200 into 260 and maximum should be less than 530 into 690 okay and similarly for signature minimum pixel resolution should be 250 into 80 and maximum should be 580 into 180 then similarly the for photo id card it should the size should be between 10 kb and 600 kb okay so after adjusting all these ratios all these sizes and ratios resolution you have to just click on upload photograph okay and from here you have to choose file and wherever your uh, file is you have to just select and you have to click on open okay now once after clicking on this open then you have to uh, click uh, then you have to click on uh, upload the cropped image then it would be written here photograph uploaded successfully okay so this pop up would come here then similarly go for go to signature and choose file okay and after selecting the file just click on the file where you have saved this and then after that after clicking on open we just have to see that whether the ratios have been maintained or not okay and we just have to click on upload cropped image so a pop up would appear here signature uploaded successfully then for photo id we have to click on upload photo valid id then we have to select the file okay and we have to click on open so this pop up would appear photo id uploaded successfully then after this we have to select these two options how did you came to know about gate 2026 so you can select any of the options which best fits for you uh, and uh, in the next what is the main purpose of applying gate 2026 so is it higher study psu 
जो अवर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एग्जाम तो यू कैन सेलेक्ट विच बेस्ट फिट्स फॉर यू देन आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड दिस पॉपअप वुड अपियर द डेटा यू हैव एंटर्ड हैज बीन सेव्ड सक्सेसफुली now after this we have to view the application okay so in this you can just see whether you have made any mistakes or not so carefully you can view all these uh, exam details which would contain uh, the paper 1 paper 2 and exam city then you can uh, verify the personal details after that you can verify the address for correspondence then you should verify details of qualifying degree then uh, verify the uploaded documents after that you have to click on review and submit after viewing the application just click on review and submit so a pop up would come application form saved successfully now if you just tick on this i confirm that i fully uh, comply for this eligibility and then after that view for this e signature you have to type the full name here okay so you can just type the full name so after uh, typing the full name we have to verify the application form then your application form would be downloaded and after that we have to submit and proceed to payment so this uh, pop up would appear data one submitted cannot be modified later press continue to submit press cancel to go back to editing the application form so you have to click on continue here and data one submitted cannot be modified later press yes to submit please uh, press no go to back to editing the application form so i would click on yes okay now everything is done except uh, the except uh, the application fees that you have to submit so here since i have selected two papers so application fees that you have to submit is 4000 rupees now you have to just enter the captcha here 8 minus 5 you just enter this captcha and after that and after that just click on pay so this billing information would appear and uh, you have to select which option you have to using which option you have to pay the money okay so this is how you can just pay the money and you can appear for your gate exams thank you very much and all the very best